No, no, no. It's a horrible idea. I don't agree. You don't remake the Brady Bunch, okay? That's like making the Golden Girls. You just leave it alone. Leave it in the past. It's going to flop, and I'm going to laugh when everybody sees that it's canceled. Oh, hey guys, this is Video Clips. Hey guys, what's going on? Today is August 2nd, 2012. I'm Video Vixen, and yes, this is another episode of Video Clips, the show where I share with all of you things on the internet, news, and media, which is cool, awesome, interesting, sexy, and sometimes a little scary, depending on the way you see things. No doubt, let's get started. You guys are probably wondering what I was ranting about earlier, which leads to my segment, Mini Clips. And to start off, Vince Vaughn is planning to reboot the Brady Bunch series on CBS. I don't know why, I don't know what will possess him, but he's trying to bring back the Brady Bunch. I, amongst all other people, agree that that show should just be left in the past. What can you do to the Brady Bunch to make it relevant to today? I mean, I don't know why that sounds like a good idea, but it's not. Leave the Brady Bunch alone, but you know what? Why not? Vince Vaughn, do your thing, bring back the show, it'll get cancelled in a month or two. Also, Snoop Dogg changed his name to Snoop Lion. Supposedly he's turning into a reggae artist and he's dropped the whole gangster hip hop scene and he's getting into reggae and I guess Lion was more appropriate than Dog. To me, it doesn't roll off the tongue, like, Snoop Dogg, oh, 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 oh. sounds better than Snoop Lion, ah, Lion. Do you see what I was doing there? I mean, what can we do? He's calling himself the new Bob Molly of our generation, which I think is a big stretch, but hey, Snoop Dogg, Lion, Tiger Cat, do your thing. What more can I say? For the first story of the show, have you guys ever imagined using Wi-Fi signals to detect things through walls, kind of like Superman in his x-ray vision? No? You haven't? Well, these two researchers at the University College of London sure have. Researchers Kevin Woodbridge and Kevin Chady have invented a device that detects things through walls using Wi-Fi signal. And it's really cool because if you think about it, according to this article, 61% of homes in the US rely on Wi-Fi, while 25% of homes all over the world use Wi-Fi as well. I mean, it's a really important thing that we use in everyday society to tap into internet and use on our smartphone devices and other things. So it would only make sense that these two guys would use Wi-Fi to make this device happen. The device works by first detecting a Wi-Fi router in another room. That router, omitting Wi-Fi waves, detects a moving object such as a human being. That human being bouncing back those waves in a different frequency is picked up by the device and a person could be able to triangulate the position of that human being. It's really awesome stuff. Very confusing, but hopefully it's some type of technology that can be used in the future to detect someone in a hostage situation or someone that might be doing something wrong or good, who knows? It seems like a really cool device, but of course there's a lot more developments to go on the way. But it's really something to think about. I mean, we can actually see things through walls, through Wi-Fi. What next? Now, I usually don't like asking you guys for money, but I really, really need your help for this one. I kind of want to buy this robot and it costs $1.35 million, give or take a penny. And you know, if you guys are just able to give me a dollar a day, for the rest of your lives, I would appreciate it. It's called the Karatas Giant Robot. It was developed by a Japan artist, Kurogo Karata, and it stands in at 12 feet, 5 inches, weighs 4.5 tons, and it basically looks like a Gundam. If you guys aren't familiar with that show, it's about a show with these teenage pilots that pilot these big giant robots, and they have guns and lasers. It's really, really awesome. It's piloted by a person that climbs into the robot. It's controlled by a motion connect sensor, and it has twin Gatling guns that shoots 6,000 BBs per minute. This robot recently premiered at a conference called Wonderfest. And the crazy part about it is, is that the artist did not intend this to be a harmful machine. It was just intended to be an art project. I remember back in elementary school, I created a windmill out of cardboard box and metal. And I thought I was the most ingenious person in my whole class. But this guy creates a 4.5 ton robot and is just an art project. Talk about ambition. Oh, and then I mentioned that the machine can not only be controlled by iPhone, but that the Gatling guns are controlled by the pilot smiling within the machine. You heard me right. 
There's a camera that detects when the pilot is smiling in the machine and the Gatling guns shower everyone with BBs. I mean, talk about killing someone with kindness. Finally on Movies to Catch, last week I talked about the movie coming out tomorrow, which is Total Recall, the remake of the 90s film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I also want to show you guys a trailer for the new installment of Paranormal Activity. Yes, you heard right. There's a Paranormal Activity 4 coming out. Roll the clip. The motion lights have been turning on and off every night. Yeah, right. Bet you it's going to be that weird kid from across the street. Watch. Yeah, can you see him? What the hell? He's so creepy. <gasps> what is he doing? Freaky, right? Yeah. What's going on? Um, I don't know. It's weird. Front door open. Back door open. Back Alex, what's going on? I recently saw Paranormal Activity 2 and 3, so I'm officially caught up with the whole storyline of the movie. I'm surprised they're coming out with the fourth one because I didn't know they were going to, but I guess there's more questions that needs to be answered, and I'm just curious to see how they're going to utilize the cameras to capture all the paranormal crazy ghost stuff that's going to be happening. So stay tuned for this movie coming out in the future, and speaking of the future, you guys stay tuned to this channel for more episodes of video clips. All the links to the stories are down below, so stay tuned and look out for more stuff, alright? Check you guys later. Fade out.